So today we will show you how you can use the Autobot to automate crypto trading. So today we will show you how you can connect the bot with uh, crypto brokers. And in this case, we will show you how you can connect with a Binance because right now only Binance change that available with the Autobot. So uh, the first thing you need to do is going to the autobotsignal.io, the website, then go to uh, download, click on the download right here. So because you are not yet a member of uh, the Autobot, so they would just prompt ask you to uh, make a sign up or if you're already a member, just click on login. So which I'm going to do is I'll click on login and log in with my Google, Google account. So once the sign up complete, you will be access to the download page right here. You will see the download button, one for the window and the other one for the Mac. So because I'm using window here, just click on the download on the window. So when the download is complete, you can see that the folder is right here. Click on open folder right here. So we can see that the folder, but this folder is a zip folder. So you can't just, you know, double click and open and run the install uh, because uh, you can't install it in the zip uh, folder. So first you need to extract first, extract the folders. Okay, you can show it after the extract or not show it after the extract. Hurry up you, I'm going to show it. Play on extract here. So when the extraction is finished, you can see the folder right here. So choose uh, the one with the name Autobots, Autobot Signal window version 4.6. Double click to open. Then you will access to the Auto Signal installer. So this is the app that you needed to install uh, to your computer. And the other one is Auto Signal MT4. So this one is for connection with the MT4, which I will show you uh, after after this. Okay, but first let's install it. Just uh, right click and click on open. Or you can just double click to open. And then uh, don't run it, but you click on more. You will see it run anyway. Right here, click on run anyway. And then the installation process uh, will begin. Just click next and install. So we will wait for the process to complete. When it is done, just click on finish. And the app will be, you know, open shortly. Okay, here is the interface of our uh, software. So uh, let's go to our crypto connection. Crypto connection. So here we have two. We have one is for the, you know, uh, live account or real account, which is uh, the word connects on the top here. So this top button, so when you click on it, so it means you are going to link it with the real account of your Binance. And below here, this is for the test. This is going to uh, connect with the testnet, so which you can, uh, uh, in an easy you know word to say, is a demo account. It's not your real account. So it's meant like everything is you know it's a fake money that you can use your you know strategy to test with the demo account so that it will not you know uh, reflect onto your real money. So when you are ready, you can you know connect with the real account on the top. Yeah. So uh, let me show you how you can connect with the, with the, with the, with the real account first, and then we will go to the demo account later. So just click on connect on the top, then we will connect to the real account. So here we have two, uh, two, uh, two boxes that you needed to fill in. One is the API key and the other one is the API secret key. So you need this two, um, you know, information, you know, to input in to, so that you can uh, log in to uh, the Binance. So let's go back to your Binance account. So here is my Binance account. This is my real account, my live account. So you can just look at the address right here, Binance.com. So it means you are logged in with your real account. If you are logged in with the test account, you will going, you will need to access to this link. 
testnet.binancefuture.com. So this is the one that you needed to use, you know, to uh, access to the demo account, and you can, you know, refill your your balance and then use the actual strategy to test it on demo. Okay, so here. Uh, here is our real account on Binance. Let's go to futures. We click on uh, USD futures right here or coin um, futures. Mostly uh, user would just, you know, go into uh, the future. So this is uh, the futures, Binance futures trading, like you can see right here. And you needed to uh, have the API key and the API secret key so that you can lock in uh, the, the Binance so that the Binance can connect to uh, to our order bot. Okay, so let's create the API key on our real account. Go into uh, account right here, and then when you just scroll into your account right here, you can see that API management is right here. But if if you don't see, sometimes uh, you don't see it right there, so it can be somewhere on the other side right here so because you are on the future trading right here then you can uh, access it right here we call api management but if you are not on this page for example you are on the home page like this for example uh, you're not going to see when you click on this you're not going to see api management right here so to access to that api management you need to click on setting Then you can go to an account and then you can see API management right here. So this is where you can create your API so that the bot can access to your real account. Okay. But if you are on the trading future uh, like this, when you click on the future trading, like you can see the chart uh, showing here, then you can just go into your account and then uh, you can see the API management appear right here. So just click on API management. Now, once you click on API management, you can see that I already have one API right here. This is the Autobot trading. So this is the one that I use to uh, log in to my uh, Autobot. So let's uh, delete it. We will recreate it again. Okay, so let's create again by click on create API. And it's going to be like system generated. And then we're going to click on next. And then label it. So we're going to name it Autobot Trading. So because we are going to link with the Autobot. And then we're going to verify this. So um, I'm going to use uh, two verification way right here. We're going to use an email verification. So the verification is a nine eight four five seven and then we have the phone verifications i'm going to click on get a code yeah to create your api you needed to verify that is you not someone else so they will send you the verify code to confirm So I don't see any SMS coming in yet. We don't get it. Let's reset.
Okay, here we go. So the verification is five eight seven one five three. Okay, that's it. So uh, when you verify, then uh, you can access to your API right here. So this is the API that you needed to copy uh, so that you can uh, access to uh, your uh, order bot. So let's copy the API key on the top here back to our software. Then we're going to paste it right here. API key, and then we go back again to copy another one we call secret key. So just copy this a secret key back to our order bot, and we're gonna paste it in here. And then you are ready. So just click on login. That's it. Uh, so uh, let's uh, input the signal key so that you can save it. So let's uh, use the very simple one, a three two, three, four, five, four number right here. So this is a signal key that you're going to use to connect with the trading view alert. Okay. So when you put this, this is, you know, this number can be anything or you can put anything. And this has to be the same as the trading view and then click on save. 